that, Monroe? Of course. Chief's going out trying to find medications. It's quite a business. Yes. I thought we were through with all this. Well, we are, mostly. Colonel Favors seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made, and apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? Oh, to be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out. And he knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children dying of diseases. No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to a pediatric coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. M Mr. Morgan, we must act with due caution. Oh, we shall. We surely shall. Now come. Okay. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Lead the way, Captain. Should he be doing this? Boy. So this Colonel Faith, he knows you're up here helping these people? Yes. And no. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. But I think my presence might be making things worse. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. He can incite more retaliation, maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean, I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. Rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well, just show me where to find this wagon, and I'll get the medicine for you. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. But I must ask you, please be discreet. We really cannot afford more conflict. I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rain's Falls and Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the back seat. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. You know, Favors has many flaws, but I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. Failed man is often the most dangerous. The wagon should come along this way. Okay. You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. Secondly, fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. In that case, I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. There. I think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. Just remember to keep it clean. Understand me? Don't worry. I'm as clean as they come. All I do is clean. Well, good luck. I'll meet you back at the reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no, I, I can't promise. Hold it right there! Whoa, you better put that down right now. We'll open fire if we have to. Gonna need your cargo, fellas. Are you insane? Why is that dishonor? They're still alive. Captain Monroe, 
I got the medicine. Oh, wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well, don't worry. It, uh, it didn't go too bad. Oh, I'll take your word for that. We could both swing for this. <laughs> yeah, well, I think I'm a little past caring about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. Of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. Oh, you're a good man. A good man. Oh, that was fucking stupid, wasn't it? To ask for help, huh? Dumbass. Was I? I, um, I was, uh... Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. <coughs> Perhaps. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. <laughs> I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. Now, oh, well, let's not get over sentimental. Come on, the place is quiet. Get out of here. You go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. Smart man, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I do the same. Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Sir. How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I'm sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember, but maybe this time he must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? Because well, we he's an asshole? Yeah. <laughs> like colloquial. Uh, perhaps I could make one last request. What's my a liar? Man, always a liar, my friend. Arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? Sure, buddy. It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I got... I've saved your life. Do it for me. <sighs> sure. Come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiation. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, Brandon! Where you at, Brandon? Where the fuck? I think he's parked his ass. Ah, uh, there he is. What? This way. I also have some men meeting me there. I wasn't sure if you'd be able to help. Thank you for doing this, both of you. You have already done so much. Ain't a problem. Just hope nobody recognizes me. I've had a few run-ins with the army recently. I wish we could have done more to control the situation. Dutch should not have gotten involved. My son has a mind of his own. Too much so, in fact. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. <laughs> yeah. I'm not asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld, how can we not view that as something personal? When they destroy our sacred sites, how can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. Yep. To be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe to retrieve those vaccines, Arthur. He will be at the meeting and is one person who knows the true situation at least. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. I think you're delusional, and that if someone is a liar, they will lie. Because it's in their blood. 
Once a liar, always a liar. People don't change. As a liar, I can tell you that this is true. <laughs> and you can trust me. This way. What he said. Come on, Brandon. Real good, boy. So I'm assuming this isn't going to go poorly. Colonel Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. <sighs> Listen, Mr. Um... <coughs> Chief. Yes, uh, Mr. I can't. Say that silly name, what is it? In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm, uh, I'm sure they do. <sighs> Listen, we're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I, I'm confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. <clears throat> Keep breaking <clears throat> peace treaties. <clears throat> We've made hmm. causing disturbances. Office coughing up a lung. <laughs> but I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So let me be very. Are you okay, man? Someone, Jackson, take him away. Where was I? You're a gentleman with limits. Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said, are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Rains. That's, uh, <gasps> Rains' fault. Exactly. Chief Rains, the thing it's is... It's quite a cough. Sure. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. It's all going to shit, huh? You look how I feel all the time. Is gonna force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Who removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason and hanged. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. You know what they say about him High Tail Favors, the man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kind of liked him. I know. Mm. Peeking out seemed like a bad idea. Unnecessary. Your men violated the treaty. That treaty is null and void. I have been appointed to negotiate. Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> the lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <gasps> so? I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace, and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. Hi, right. Captain Monroe, let's get out of here. Hi, if I, I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. I don't want to kill this man. But shout. Bitch. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. We need to leave now. You won't get away with this. Let's go, Brandon! Easy. Whoa. On the trees, Brandon! I can. Ah! Brandon! What the 
fuck was that? Easy, Brandon. Fucking easy. Fine, we're going on foot, you fucking crazy horse. Can you shoot? I can't. Do it. They're trying to kill you. I'm going to put you down. <laughs> Fuck. Fucking son of a bitch attacked me while I was sneezing. Why don't you do something about it, huh? Let's go, Brandon! Come on, Captain! We sure as hell don't want to hang around here! Come on! Follow me! Where did rainfalls go? What do we do now? You get out of here. Fast. Take you to the station. I can't believe that just happened. Believe I've been it. an army man my whole life. I heard them talking. They was gonna have you hang for treason. Can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? We'll do what we can. I guess I won't be submitting my report. I wouldn't think so. It's handy that the train's already here waiting for him, isn't it? Oh. Here, Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Here's some money. You take it and get out of here and start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat, but avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. Meet you back at camp. <coughs> Mr. Morgan! <clears throat> are you okay? No. Never better. What are you doing here? Well, I'm on my way down to Mexico. They're finally sending me on a mission. Huh. Brother Dorkins is very jealous. <laughs> <coughs> What's wrong? I'm, uh, Dying. Uh, I'm dying, sister. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I got TB. I got it. Beating the man to death <clears throat> for a few bucks. I've lived a bad life, sister. We've all lived bad lives, Mr. Morgan. We all sin. But I know you. <laughs> you don't know me. <laughs> Forgive me, but that's the problem. You don't know you. What do you mean? I don't know, but whenever we happen to meet, you're always helping people and smiling. <sighs> I had a son. He passed away. I had a girl who loved me. I threw that away. My mama died when I was a kid. And my daddy... Well, I watched him die. And it weren't soon enough. My husband died a long time ago. Life is full of pain. But there is also love and beauty. And pain. What am I gonna do now? 
be grateful that for the first time, you see your life clearly. <laughs> sure. Perhaps you could help somebody. Helping makes you really happy. <sighs> but I still don't believe in nothing. <laughs> Often, neither do I. <laughs> but then I meet someone like you, and everything makes sense. <laughs> You're too smart for me, sister. <laughs> I guess I... I'm afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Morgan. Take a gamble that love exists and do a loving act. All aboard! I shall try. I know you will. Goodbye, goodbye, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Sister. Morgan! What the fuck was that? Get up, you idiot. Dumbass. Come here, my friend. Okay. Kind of like I, stupid bird. Not I may me. not speak the whole truth, but I speak some of it. The bird has collapsed. Do you want to hear your fortune, sir? I would, but like I'm miles away and it won't let me. There you go. There you go. Uh, why not? Does it involve tumbling horses? Probably. This is now the time of machines. The time of things. The time of man came and went as all things pass. Boring. As all things pass, my friend. That was it. A waste of money. Why is that bird dead? Travel safe. Don't you worry about me. There you are. Here I am. Come on, let's go. Let's go where? And why are you so riled up? Today is a great day, Arthur. Today is the day they are going to hang Como Driscoll. Uh, so? Rather they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are gonna hang him. Yeah, and not before time. That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why, despite us being wanted men, we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him onto the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are gonna disguise ourselves. In this? In this. Okay. Okay. Come on. Nice hat, Sadie. Well, don't we just look the part? We'll cut through the alley to get to the gallows. We keep our weapons holstered, our disguises on, and our wits about us. Mrs. Adler, might I say, being a fancy woman of sand and he shoots you. I dress up like the Queen of Sheba if it meant seeing that son of a bitch sway. Cone hung me up, nearly butchered me. I don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as I remember, Mr. Morgan. Bailey. My husband weren't so lucky. You lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy Kieran. We've all lost something because of Cone. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. My hey, offer's like limping that. and running to going to the those side. Fingers off those triggers, cause we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this done. <laughs> Practice what you preach, brother. Whatever do you mean? Are you gonna keep your cool? Really? I, I'm, I'm just pressing you forward. You seem to lose it all so often now. This doubting and questioning of yours, I miss the old Arthur. 
Don't we all? Hey, you two quit it. Y'all got a job to do, and we're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it. As far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right, then. Come on. We got a hanging to witness. Look here. Don't the public love an execution? Arthur's like limping like he's half dead. What the fuck's he doing? Hey. All right. Good. Now. You see that pair of assholes? Sure. They're Combs boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise. I'm glad we're here. What are they pointing at? I don't know. We gotta follow them to find out. Yeah. Oh, here comes somebody. <clears throat> Stay here. So, they got a guy up on the roof overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there, onto one of these verandas, through a building maybe, and get him. And do it silently. Well, obviously, I'm gonna do it silently. I wanna see this bastard swing. Where's the gun then? Right there. Your boss is gonna swing. Uh, Arthur? <laughs> the fuck was this? You're skinnier than I thought you'd be. Fuck it. Well, that fucking worked, Arthur. You immediately decided to shoot him in the face, breaking the entire point of the mission. There you go. That went much better. Second time's a charm, Arthur. Here goes your escape plan. <laughs> As well you may. I've been a bad man. Silent! These charges This is not a court where you shall be tried. This is a place where your sentence is to be carried out. And your sentence, Cole Modriscal, is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. This Telling me that none of the fucking cops on the stage are noticing like the guy with a gun pointing at that not guy's head? a task we enjoy, but it is a task we must carry out if our civilization is to prosper. Gentlemen, are we ready? Call Modrisco. May God, in his infinite wisdom, have mercy upon your soul. Whenever you are ready. <laughs> now you know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. You ruined my life! Oh, bloody hell. He's already dead. You hear us? Take a shot on these old Grisco's. Oh my god, that guy's fucking head exploded. That's one less thing to worry about. I guess compared to the entire government, in the end. Why does Arthur look like he's about to punch him? Seem like such a worry. Oh, he went I straight into a cutscene. Okay. Oh, okay. I know it's from that Mary. Mary? She ain't worth it, Arthur. Who is? My dear Arthur, you never showed up, and now, after looking at the newspapers, I understand why. I don't imagine you'll receive this letter, but I, nonetheless, must send it. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest of dreams. I miss you. 
And I will always miss you. But I cannot live like that. Man, you've broken my heart again. And I fear I have broken yours. And for that, I will never forgive myself. But you must let me go now. I enclose a ring you gave me many years ago. When we were both young. Not because I don't like it, but because I care for it far too much and it reminds me too much of you. I hope one day you will find some people in love who can use this. For it kept me thinking of you all these years. And I hope by returning it to you, I can finally be free. Goodbye, Mary. Lovely. Just what I needed. Why is Arthur in a constant fucking hunch position? Oh, easy, girl. Jesus. This is it. You okay? <laughs> I mean, you almost threw a knife at me, but yeah, sure. Peach. You sure? No, I ain't sure. You still working? Is anybody still working? The whole goddamn place full of people bickering. Fighting and lying. It makes me real sad. I know. I need someone to ride with me. Do what? Finish off them old Driscolls. I hear the last of them is holed up at Hanging Dog Ranch. I don't have it in me no more. I saw a calm swing. I, I just don't care. I was a married woman. You know what they did to me and to my husband? You're the only one of these fools that I trust. I've got to do this. Sure, girl. Arthur is a simp. I'll tell you what. I'll do it. But there's something you can help me with. Abigail. Jack. John. Make sure they make it. I mean, this whole thing is pretty much done. But when the time comes... Or how do you mean... When the time comes, you help them. What do you mean? I mean, help them escape when I... You know, you and me, we're more ghosts than people. But them, they, they could... I know. Of course I will. Thank you, Arthur. You want to ride with me now, or meet me up at Hanging Dog Ranch when you can? I'll get with you. Let's go, Brandon! Yes, Arthur. It's Bambi. <sighs> Find Morning. Morning for killing. Huh. Hey. You seen anything down there? Yeah, I think there's a bunch of them down there. I'm mostly drunk. But one of them is a fat fellow with a beard. Him? He's mine. Okay. You have strange taste in men, Sadie. Ah, oh, she's got a Molotov. Which is not lit. What the hell, Zeddy? Fucking shit's just, just running in straight in there. Or I can just shoot his ass. I know, love, I shot him. Where's that fucking girl gone to? It's fucking mental. It's like Laura Tomb Raider fucking shit going on over here. It's that old race fucking Skywalker. Big 
girl's fucking nuts. Just runs off by herself and doesn't ring. She fucking brutally murdered everyone. Look at her. He don't look that fast. Oof, he did. You alright, love? <laughs> You got a bit of blood on you. Okay. Yeah. He was a good man, my Jakey. We was always sweet on one another. I'm sure. Yeah. I miss him every day, every moment. Uh, they turned me into a monster, Arthur. But my memories of him, they still pure. No, I ain't even got that. Aside from my Jake, you're the best man I've known. I know the company you keep. The competition ain't too fierce. <laughs> We, uh, we should get away from her. Yeah. I think I need to be alone for a bit. I understand. You, uh, might want to get yourself cleaned up. Thank you, Arthur. Hope to fuck that none of those other schools had TB. <laughs> Nothing good's gonna come of whatever the hell this is. So good of you to join us. What's going on? Rebellion. The smell of cordite and integrity. It is a beautiful thing. What are you all huh? doing? An eye for an eye. We didn't start this, Arthur. They did. We? This ain't our fat. It surely is. Whatever it is you're planning, it ain't a good idea. They want you to fight. Nobody will be killed. We're just gonna trap a few of them in the valley, disarm them, tar and feather them, and remind them to leave these boys alone. You have energy for pranks? Come on, Arthur. Just tweaking Uncle Sam's nose a little. I need you to help me. This is an incredibly stupid idea. People will see these boys. They won't notice us, and they'll think we're gone. Everyone will blame everything on the Indian problem and we'll disappear up the river. But first, we need to trap them in this pass. Help me dynamite up these trees. Sounds like a dick move. So, you're using them? No, sir. No. Yes. That's exactly what you just said. But, yes. It is mutually beneficial to draw attention to one problem and avail over another. So you're using These them. These are good people, but their situation is real complex. We ain't helping them. Sure we are. Come no, on. Not. Let's get this done. We're helping ourselves. <laughs> There's a difference. Patrol's a lot larger than we thought it was going to be. <laughs> Don't worry. That's a good thing. Okay, that's the signal. Here they come. Stay low and quiet. Are you sure you don't quiet. want me to man that plunger, Arthur? No, I got it. Oh, remove the weight of the world from your shoulders for a minute. Like I said, we're just going to give them a bit of a scare. Should we do it now? Okay, they've passed the first charge. If we blow it now, we should have them trapped. Put your hands up! You're surrounded! Nobody need get hurt! Your humiliation of us has gone on quite enough. This ain't a good idea. Put down your guns. You are making a mistake, boy. No, you're making a mistake. Put your hands up, soldier. Take a little humiliation and leave these fine folks alone. Who are you? A concerned citizen. Is that so? What now? We should move. No, 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 not quite yet. Soldier, you and your friends gonna tuck tail and run off? Run! Excuse me? I'm getting bored of this. 
Your friends fired first, soldier! Good lord. This is incredibly this is stupid. Why aren't we getting out of here? They might have information on them that'll help our friends with their cause. We need anything my father can use to strengthen our case. What are you gonna so get off that? She's gonna strengthen your case after this. Find anything? Yes. Some poor fool from New Jersey. These boys ain't the problem. They're only kids. Keep looking. Oh, nice. Peter. Damn. sending riders from the fort. We need to leave. But where's Peter? Was he killed? He's alive. Well, that went just about according to plan. I'm trying. I'm trying, Arthur, with everything I have, and I will keep trying, and you'll keep doubting me, and we'll keep failing. It ain't like that, Dutch. Look at me. Look at me! I'm just... I'm worried about folk. I know. I... Oh dear. We should go. Where's Eagle Flies? Run, son! Run! Come God on! fucking damn it, seriously. This area is gonna be crawling with soldiers in a few minutes. We gotta leave. Now! Let's go, Brandon! We gotta go! They've got I'm fucking cannons, Brandon! We need to ride hard! Stay with me! Run over that turkey. Okay, <laughs> Hold on, we Brandon. We won't get the horses down this path. Alright, let's carry on by foot, try and sell them a little snake oil. You think? It's all I got. Get out of here. Yeah. Come on, let's see if there's a way out through here. Oh, that guy fell. Great, we're not being hunted by the army. This is going well. This is an extremely bad idea. He appeared to be fucking going towards the dead end of the dungeon. Where the fuck's that guy again? I know! Yeah, we're screwed. This is it. This is... This is where we die. Well... Oh, we jump into the river. Arthur. Put your hands up! I said put your damn hands up! Okay. Okay. Follow my lead. I got a plan. Not great. This is a good one. Hello! Officers! You keep them hands up and come here. Put your hands up. Hello, Captain. Keep your hands up and come here. Come here. We, uh, we can't do that. Your man. Oh, God. I should have hit E. Dutch, no, avenge me. Avenge me. Ask my friend here. My whole life. I tried to fight change. It's a waste. I see that. Now, it's a waste. You can't fight nature, Captain. You can't fight change. You can't fight gravity. Okay. Um, ah! My hat! Come here, big boy! Oh, I got you! 
You're okay. Oh, you're okay. Not for long, we don't get moving. Yes. I know. But a mess is what we need. Oh, we just escaped from chaos. Eagle flies must have been taken. Taken or killed. Well, we can't go find out. No, not now. Charles, I'll, we'll send them. Uh, where is it? <coughs> He's probably back at camp. Let's split up. I'll go tell him. You rest up, then go meet him up at the reservation. We are gonna make it, brother. I can feel it. Faith, Arthur. Have faith. Right, faith, sure. Come in. Mr. Morgan, I'm so glad you could make it. How are you? My son. My son is foolish, but he's still my son. I know your son. A little. He's very brave. Very angry. <laughs> he's me. How is your father? He's dead a long time. I lived a lot longer than was good for any of us. My son probably wishes the same to me. <laughs> I doubt that. I want peace. I need my people to be safe. All my life I've tried to bring peace. But I love my son. They'll hang him for treason. Treason. He is the chief son of a proud nation. How could he commit treason? People who have lied to my people for a hundred years or more, that's treason. Well. What should I do? I don't think there's much chance reasoning with Colonel Favors. No. And any chance we had, your friend, Mr. Vanderland, has ensured relations between us and the Army are worse than any point in the last five years. I'm sure he means well. But matters are more complex than he understands. Me and Charles will try and rescue your son. No. Yes, yes. I ain't got much to lose, and you got... I'm doing this. Charles! Where are you? Come on, let's go. We need to get his son back, of course. I just ain't sure how. I've been working on that. I think there's a way. Follow me. Okay. Can we talk about how my guns don't fit in my, fit in my holsters? Look, it's out. It's outside of the fucking holster. It looks very good. Can I ride this cow? No. The, the answer is no. You know, this wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Dutch. It ain't just on Dutch. We all went along with it. He saw Eagle Flies burn hot, and he fanned the flames. He's not helping that tribe, he's helping himself. Yep. You see that, or you wouldn't have gone to Rain's Fall behind his back. I guess I just keep thinking. There must be a way to save the situation. To pull Dutch out of the place he's in. Well, I like Rain's Fall. I don't know, Arthur. Rain's Fall is in a tough situation. And as for Dutch... I gotta try. I own that, at least. You feel that? There's rain on the wind. I know. Listen, Charles. If it goes bad in there, you get yourself out. You got more to lose. No. Come on. Don't start talking like that. Uh, I didn't tell you before, but... I saw it, Doc. It's pretty bad. But it's gonna get worse. Oh, Arthur. Any day we can die, hmm? 
We're riding to break an Indian chief's son out of a cavalry fort. Mm -hmm. We could both die tonight. Probably will. In a way, it is a gift to know. In a way, you were lucky. Sure don't feel like that. You still have time to make amends. The others, Hosea, Lenny, Sean, all them, they didn't. And what about the calendar boys? Both killed trying to escape Blackwater? More vicious pair of bastards than ever was. And that's all they ever were and will be. Maybe. You're lucky. You got the chance to do something better. My guess is maybe that's why you're here now. Either way, just keep your head strong. We're close now. All right. This should be fun. Gotta be interesting. Let's get ourselves hidden and wait till it gets dark. Let's keep quiet. I'm trying to find a way in. Main thing is that they don't hear us. I thought that fucking light, uh, lantern that fell out the fucking room was gonna catch fire, to be honest. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Let's move, come on. Tall Hawks is so fucking cool. Father sent us. My father. He told you to come and kill guards? No, he didn't say that. He... Of course not. You okay? Sure. Enjoy being tortured. <laughs> Clears the mind. If you say so. Oh, whoa, no. whoa. I'm fine, I'm fine. Well, so much for stealth. I remember seeing a hole in one of the walls when they brought me in. No. It's been sealed back up. Arthur, deal with this, would you? Yes, but how? What about that cannon? No need. We're through. Let's go. Let's go, Bernard. Hey. Hey, gentlemen. Let's go, quick. I can shot I Brandon. Canoe set up at the river down here. Okay, don't shoot Brandon. That's fine. What the fuck that guy? I much prefer the PC controls, but other like not when it comes to shooting. The canoes are close. PC controls? Let's get down the river as quick as we can. Don't pay for this. Don't wish they'd kill me unless they had a chance. Don't kill their horses. We can use them to ride out of here. I don't see any more of them. Let's get over to the shore. Things are going well. I think we lost them. 
Come on. <coughs> you okay, Arthur? Yeah, no. I'm right as rain. I'm How dying. <clears throat> I'll be fine in a day or so. I heal fast. Colonel Favors won't be too happy for your rescue. I guess not. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot more trouble. My father, even he may have to fight. You won't win. No big fight with them. Shouldn't y'all just run away? Where would we go? I don't know. In front. Let me take you back to your father. Hmm? <sighs> Thank you. No mention. Door ain't locked. Irish. Arthur! <laughs> Come in. You said, uh, we could go for a hunt. I did. There's this huge she-wolf been stalking me the last few nights I've been out, but she can wait. <laughs> Let's talk a while. Sure. So what do you do? Die. Uh, I'm a wanderer. I was born further north, but I spent a lot of time out west. It's funny. I never saw myself as a wanderer. The bodies lay so thick, you could have walked across the whole field without your boots touching mud. <sighs> Those were bad times. Mm. Yes, they were. Would you like some more coffee? Please. Hoo-wee! <laughs> what have we here? Yeah, she's right across there. That close. Oh, 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 oh. She's acting brazen. Come on. Let's mount up. Come on. She went around to the left. Around the lake. She's down here somewhere. Up there. On the outcrop. You see her? Let's go around it. Okay, I'm with you. She's leading We're us into a her. trap. Come on. Okay. Damn! I can't see her! Let's get up to the top. Have a look around from up there. View loves hills, don't you, boy? You eat them up for breakfast. Easy. Oops. Oh, I didn't want me to do it. Is that a fresh kill? Could be. Is the blood set? Let me take a look. My guess. She's gone somewhere over there. Well, there's a whole lot of over there. That's the problem. There she is. Got shy all of a sudden. Why don't we just shoot it from here? You got some extra miles in each in the oh, we got a chaser. Let's chase her. All right. Come on. I think we're close. Yeah, she's right there. There's also more than one of them. Hey, up there. Is that the she wolf? At some point, decided to sheath his gun. <laughs> he was like, I don't need these, I'm gonna wrestle them. It's fine. Bad dog! Oh, you alright? 
She did. I was ready to offer my complete and unconditional. Yeah, I don't think the wolves would have shown much mercy. That's quite an ambush she let us into. Yeah, bushwhacking, I'd call it. Huh? God damn! Over here! Over here! Ah. You just fell over. Ah! Ah! You all right? Okay. Yeah. Damn. Big son of a bitch. Is that all of them? That's the best of them. Look at them. Proud thing. Scary thing. <laughs> They brought us here to be slaughtered. You were after a hunt. Yeah. Yeah, and I guess I got hunted. <laughs> you going back to the cabin? Yeah, nah. Still early. We'll stay up here a while. Dress this animal. I won't likely see another like him for some time. Yeah, I hope I won't <laughs> either. Thanks for taking me out. Yeah, anytime. You want to go out again? Yeah. You come by and see me. So long, then. Yeah. Wait. Here's a pelt. Thank you. Uh, you earned it. So long. If the ocean were whiskey and I were a duck, quack, quack, I'd dive to the bottom and get one, one sweet sup. But the ocean ain't whiskey and I ain't no duck. So I'll play Jack of Diamonds and then we'll get drunk.